Okay. Fine. back to the garage everyone i think this evening we're doing a little extra investigation into our alda and i tried to remove these screws earlier but they were pretty stubborn let's start off with a uh, a clutch setting that is a little forgiving let's see what happens here nope stand by let me uh Put something underneath there. All right, got a little wood underneath there. That might give us a little bit of support. Nope. Oh, it just it's just a screw. It'll just come right out of there. I mean, come on, you know? This is typical of these Mercedes parts. They just weld themselves together and, you know, you're left with heat and pounding and, oh goodness, give me strength. Well, if this thing was not broken inside before I got a hold of it, it probably will after I'm done. Goodness gracious. It's kind of like that water pump housing. If you go back and look at my video on the water pump housing, when I redid the, uh, the engine cooling system, it was the same deal. That The screws and the the aluminum housing, they just, they just weld themselves together. Nope. Unbelievable. All right, let's, let's just try prolonged impact. Oh, all that's doing is tearing the screw up. Putting my weight on it, by the way. Let's see, how does this thing work again? Ah, there we are, okay. All right, realizing that, that the innards of this thing are delicate. That's hot. Let's see if that, nope. The inside I think is what, brass or copper or something? It's probably wasted now, now that I heated it. Yeah, that, that did a lot. Okay, let's just, you know, let's see. Yep, loosening, okay, okay. And, uh, let's just, I got it up. I'll get it on low here. Let's just, let's see if we can't completely destroy this other screw. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, that's just that's just eating it up. Not working. Phillips head screws. That's the dumbest thing. That's the dumbest idea I've ever heard of. They're just gonna have to be drilled out. If, let's find out. Okay. Fine. Look at that. All the way through. Yep, and didn't even, so that's what that looks like. We uh, stayed within the confines of the screw and did not tear up the body of the Alda. Let's see, Maybe put a bigger hole that in that and then do an easy out. I found these on eBay several years ago after I bought my drill press. H-U-O-T, St. Paul. Let's see. They're uh, they're pretty old. They have an aluminum gauge there. Pretty cool. A lot of them are missing, you know. But the ones that aren't are <laughs> actually really sharp. So uh, let's see. Let's find a slightly. But I like them because they're long too. There we go. 
All right, I got one of these uh, easy outs. Let's just see what this does. Look at that. Look at that. Sometimes drastic measures are required. Got a magic combination. Got a couple of drill bits that work, and we got an easy out that works. So uh, I will be getting the other screws out in this fashion. So stand by. We're going to get the top off of this Alda. All right, I did the other two. We'll do the last one together. I guess, really, this is going to turn into a video on how to remove stuck screws. First, you pick a small bit and you drill all the way through the screw. Like that. Then you grab a, a little bigger bit. Safety goggles. There we go. We're all the way through. And we take our easy out tool. And the threads on an easy out tool are backwards, so you can pull it out. See, that's <laughs> comes out really, of course, the, the heat and the vibration of drilling the screw and blah, blah, blah. You know, it makes it, it makes it do that. All right. So they look like they have sealant on them, but I don't think so. I think that's just steel welded to aluminum through years of dissimilar metal corrosion. There we go. How about that? Got her open. Oops, not in camera. Sorry about that. Let me get my inspecting specs on and see what this is all about. That looks like a And then you, you can see the brazing here where they attached it to this uh, central shaft. And it, clearly that is hollow. I'm gonna, I wonder if that's a membrane of some sort right there. Have I ever taken an Alda apart before? No, I have not. <laughs> Apparently I'm allergic to them. I was looking at another video online. I, I saw one guy that it had taken apart his Analda and replaced this O-ring right here because apparently they're bad about leak, leaking. Apparently this is, you know, this doesn't look bad. It looks, it looks okay. It doesn't look worn, it's not cracked. It's pliable. It has a wiper groove there. Uh, let's look at the other half. There is an O-ring seal here. I'm assuming it's an O-ring. Maybe it's a flat ring. I don't know. I'm actually astonished that of the pliability of this. This actually looks brand new to me. It's not cracked, it's pliable, it feels good. It makes me wonder, um, did this Alda just last like this all these years or was it replaced at some point? And of course there's the notorious adjustment where the other redneck YouTubers, you don't turn your fuel up, crank that thing out like that boy, yeah. There we go. I just couldn't hold it with my my hand. Let's just disassemble it entirely, just because we can. That's interesting. It's a uh, spacer, I guess. And then this, I'm assuming, is threaded down in there because clearly this is a threaded adjustment. So if we start cranking on this thing. I'm turning it inward just to see what happens. Looks like copper or dissimilar. See the green? That is a copper screw. Because when I crank down, yeah, it's slipping out. That's, let me get a piece of sandpaper. 
Is it copper? It looks like it's copper. To me, it does. Why would it be a copper? That'd be silly. It wouldn't be copper. It has a copperish looking uh, center to it, though, doesn't it? Hmm. Put a little coercive juice on this. Oh, look at that. I think we got past the bad part. Yeah, I think we did too. Yep. Smaller screwdriver. Look at that. Piece of aluminum's come off. Why are you doing this? Because I want to take the Alda apart completely. Because no one has ever done it on YouTube, to my knowledge. All right. It's just a threaded hole in there. Yeah, we got a part number, 1425-500-018. There's another number, 13815 on the housing there. Let's see, does, does that match this number, 427-133-150? There's numbers all over this thing, goodness gracious. Okay, enough of that. So, clearly this is hollow. That looks like a membrane to me. That is probably... It looks like a membrane here that has been attached with some sort of sealant around the edge there. And this looks like corrugated copper plate. And it's in two halves. And it's a crimped connection, I'm guessing. You see a crimp, you, they, they put the two halves together and they crimped it here here, here, and here, four places, and there's probably solder around the edge. And the other half, the plunger half, you know, the one, that's, the one that sucks the life out of your engine. <laughs> you must floor your car. Not anymore, brother. All right, I uh, decided to get a little, uh, little Brasso out here just to see what that did, yeah. And my whole goal here is to just inspect it and see what we can see. Let's see if we can find a crack or, you know, any anything that says, hey, you know, here I am. This is why this thing is broken. Or, you know what, there's nothing wrong with it. And it was just placed there to make your life miserable. Probably a cotton wheel on the drill press would do wonders for this. Man, that's a great idea. Let's go to the drill press. Probably overkill, but ah, whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you <laughs> a brand new Alda. Uh, so I went ahead and uh, polished both halves on the, uh, the cotton wheel with some Brasso as best I could. I haven't seen any cracks uh, from my naked eye. I can't see any. That sealant there may be broken. I don't know. It looks okay, just from, you know, without putting it under a microscope. Pretty though, isn't it? I don't see anything wrong with that, to be honest. I, uh, and I put the wire wheel on the uh, body of the, uh, of the Alda. 
on both halves. Got that cleaned up pretty well. Really, I, 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 the only thing that I see that could be wrong would be the, uh, the ceiling O-rings. This one, maybe it's a little compressed and the Alda is, is uh, leaking, I don't know. Maybe this one is not as pliable as it's supposed to be. What shape is this supposed to be? I don't think it's supposed to be round. I think this is supposed to be flat like it is, like I see it here. Because, I ha because you see this wiper right here, right? I don't know if a conventional O-ring would uh, suffice for this because you have to have that wiper there for this thing to, uh, to ride in and out of. And actually, now that I do that, that's not, it's not that great. It may, be, it may have been leaking. Now, what does that all mean? I have no idea. Assuming that it was defective and at low RPM, it was not allowing a suitable amount of fuel to enter the pump. Why was that? Is it because it was leaking? I find that hard to believe. Because the Alda is supposed to press down on that valve on the pump to decrease the amount of fuel that goes into the pump. So anyway, I'm not gonna sit there and ponder too much on that. So I'm gonna let some folks that are a lot smarter than me ponder on it and provide your comments down below. All right, folks, there's the Alda, a very clever device that will never be going back on my car unless one of you can come up with a compelling argument for why it needs to go back on my car. But I just wanted to take it apart, take a look at it, see if I could determine what was wrong with it. And the only thing I can come up with is possibly these O-rings were leaking. Everything else looks okay, except for the screws that I had to drill out. All right, folks, that's all for now. I appreciate you guys stopping by the channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like to see another video of me tearing into something that, that I know nothing about, then go ahead and click that little bell down below. You guys have a good one, and remember to enjoy maintaining your classic Mercedes.